Blessings and peace to you. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? It is Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. Another wonderful day, and another day to be thankful. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen. So make sure you focus on what is good. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thursday. My day has been absolutely blessed and I am thankful that I'm here again to talk some good stuff to you. Jackie Draper is going to join me for this episode and the title of this episode is What is True Value in a Relationship? We all want to be treated well. We all want to be appreciated and we're just going to talk about what what is true value? What is it like when someone values you. Before we start this episode, I would like to remind you, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor. Thank you so much for your support and your donations. And if you are out there traveling about, make sure you'll keep yourself safe. Make sure that you are um, just doing your part to stay safe on um, whatever you need to do. Wearing your mask when you need to, um, using your hand sanitizers, Um, we still have to do our part to stay safe. I remind you of that because I care. Hello, Jackie. How are you doing today? Wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm moving right along and I'm just focused and all is good. And I'm just so thankful because we can focus on the the smallest things and just look at it for what it is and say, that is just so blessed. And so that's where I am today. I'm just thankful. Thankful. How about you? Absolutely. Oh, and endlessly thankful. I, endlessly thankful. I, uh, I just got back from Miami. Uh, I just have some, you know, I, I have, I have a good life right now. It doesn't suck to be me right now. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And that's good energy of a good, you know, with a good yes. spirit. So um, we're going to talk about what. It's not without effort, though. I mean, it's not and nothing that I just stumbled into, but everything has been things that I have set forth to do and, and everything's falling into place finally. That's awesome, because when we have good intentions, that's what normally happens when we have good intentions throughout our day and just letting everything to just flow naturally. Yes, that's what happens. I'm I'm happy to hear that cuz you you are encouraging me again to have and keep good intentions. And I feel like I'm uh, attracting really people that I want to attract. Amen. Not, not like romantically. I mean like friends and um I have a new boss and she's amazing and awesome. her energy is really good. Like mm-hmm. attract that kind of energy from people. So I just feel like I'm in a good place right now. That's awesome. I'm in the right place. Well, that leads right into our topic. What is true value in a relationship? Because when you are appreciated and when someone values you and when you show value to someone else, it makes them better. And everything you just said, Jackie, there you go. I mean, you're walking around walking around with all of that and you got to give it away to somebody that needs it, Jackie. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to give it away. So what comes to your mind when you think about um, true value in a relationship? Well, I think the only way that you can have that give and take of value in a relationship is communication. Mm -hmm. You have to establish what you need. Mm -hmm. They need to establish what they need in order for you to give them what they need and then when you truly value someone, you go above that. You don't just give them what they need. You give them what they want on top of it. Absolutely. I agree. I, I start... In professional life, you know, yeah. personal life, everywhere. Yeah. Where, I mean, I don't care if you're a, a business person. You've got to find out who your customer is and what do they value, what's important to them, and mm-hmm. then give them more. And yeah. that's how you'll have a good working relationship with them. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. What What's important to the person the person that you are showing value to because um everybody is different we all have different standards and what 
uh, may be of value to one person may not be valuable to the next. And so to show someone that you appreciate them, that's showing value. And I always uh, think about that because I believe that we should always esteem others. We should always show honor where honor is due. And we should always acknowledge the good that others do. You know, uh, I don't want anyone to feel like what they do for me is unnoticed. You know, I like to show people that they are appreciated. And so um, expressing it, showing it, showing a person that they are valuable to you, that's very important because um, it's the least things that you can do showing value that can make the difference. Not the big things, because some people think, oh, well, I got to go out and spend a lot of money and I got to do all these big things. But sometimes it's the small things that you can do to show value. What do you think about that? Absolutely. Definitely. Because a lot of times we're all busy in our lives. So the little things take more effort. Yes. So those are, in my opinion, even more valuable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you're super busy and you know something important is happening in your friend's life and you call them and say, hey, how did it go? What did, you know, that took more effort than, you know, yeah. taking them out to dinner or whatever, you know, like, oh, it's your birthday. Let, let me take you out to dinner and pay for, you know, $200 dinner, whatever. That's just sharing a meal and you picking up the tab, but stopping yeah. what you're doing in the middle of the day to call your friend and, and ask them what's going on is cost you nothing but time and effort. Absolutely. I I actually believe in that because the minute I think about somebody, I text them or call them or I might go visit them or tell them, Hey, meet me out to lunch or dinner or whatever. Because I believe that um, when you think about somebody, you're thinking about them for a reason. And, And that's the perfect time, I believe, to show appreciation, to show value, because you never know what a person is going through in secret, right? And so that is why showing appreciation and showing someone that they are valuable to you is so important. Because all of us have the ability to lift the next person up. And you, and you don't you don't have to know the person. You don't have to have this long history with a person to show them that they are valuable or to show them that they are appreciated. It could be somebody like, uh, let's say, uh, a store clerk, somebody you see every time you pick up your coffee, or it could be a store clerk, excuse, a store clerk, excuse me, that 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 works at a Pacific store, and every time you see that person, uh, they they're they're smiling. And because you see them smiling all the time, you can acknowledge that, you know, you have a beautiful smile. And every time I see you, you lift my spirit because you have a beautiful smile. What if more people did that, Jackie? Just acknowledge the good in other people to the point where they just lift other people up constantly. What what if more people did that in society? Wouldn't that be beautiful? <laughs> it would. And I think, I don't uh, think that people don't want to do it. I yeah. just think that we just get lost in our own head. Mm-hmm. And um, we forget, and then mm-hmm. sometimes we probably feel more like the moment has passed, and now it looks like I'm an afterthought, and so you just don't want to say anything at all. Yeah, but I think it's important yeah. to say things, even when it's an afterthought. Yeah, I, I look at it as a missed a missed opportunity, and the reason why I say that is because I used to live in Philadelphia, right? And I would see people that was homeless or people that was just going through different things, you know, just out walking the streets and things like that. And I always felt like when I walked past someone that needed something from me, whether it was a hello or a good morning or a smile or just something, I felt like it was a missed opportunity. And the reason why I call it the missed opportunity is because one day I heard a voice telling me to pray. I literally heard this voice telling me to pray. Now that I know it, that voice was God and I didn't pray. I didn't, I'm telling you, I didn't pray. And then all of a sudden time had went by hours had went by. And that person I was supposed to pray for was in a car accident. And you know what that? Yeah. And the voice said, the voice said, your timing is not perfect. Because when, when I found out they was in a car accident, all of a sudden now I want to pray. I want to pray for them. But see, I was too busy earlier hours 
before that to pray. And so the voice said, your timing to pray is not perfect. So in that moment, I said, oh my God, that, that's God. That was God. So the, anyway, long story short, the person was in a car accident and they called me and told me they had a head concussion. The car flipped over. They were okay. But I learned something in that moment. And so I said, you know what? I got to pay attention. No more missed opportunities. And I'm not saying that I drop, you know, I don't drop the ball now because I do sometimes. But we should always acknowledge the good in others and show appreciation in relationships and not miss the opportunity to do something good for someone. Because like I said, you don't, you don't want to go through what I went through that missed opportunity. Oh my God, that was just, whew, that was too much. That was too much. Well, you know, I think about that sometimes I've uh, like, I'll see people that maybe I don't even know very well, and but I see their posts come up on my social media page mm-hmm. and then, uh, Maybe their posts change too. Mm-hmm. They're happy one day and then they're not happy another. And it's something I happen to notice. I feel like maybe I noticed that for a reason and I should reach out. And I'll reach out to people mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. that I don't even know and just say, hey, I noticed that your post or, you know, and maybe it's just they're like, no, somebody I know is going through that right now. It's right. not me, but thank you for reaching out, you know. That's beautiful. And uh, sometimes it is something going on with them and Mm -hmm. I I have to also say that over the summer I was going through uh crap with with myself and my life and getting things straight Mm -hmm. and uh I did not post for about two months I didn't post anything and I got multiple messages from people some people I know some people I don't know saying I've noticed that you're not on social media lately I hope everything's okay Mm -hmm. and I just wanted to let you know that I noticed and I hope you're okay or stuff and and I thought that was really nice that people noticed because you think nobody's paying attention you know yeah yeah um you know you'd be surprised I mostly post stuff trying to be funny but yeah Yeah, yeah. They notice when you're not planning anymore. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, I, that that has happened to me where I just stopped posting things and wanted to take a break, and people would send me uh DM messages. Hey, what's going on? You are you okay? Or they would call me. Yeah. You know, they'll call me, and um, but yeah, that's that's well. That's, these were people who didn't have my phone number or anything. These were stranger. I mean, not awesome. stranger strangers, but you yeah, know, relative strangers, and I, yeah. I thought that was. Nice, because you never know when someone might need that. Yes, that's right, because we are all important. There is not one person on this earth that is higher or smaller than the next person. We are all important. In the sight of God, we're all important. And I say it like that because sometimes people think because of money, houses, and cars, and wealth, that they're higher and the other person is less. No, we all deserve and must show appreciation and value to one another because we were created with value god created all of us with the ability to show value to one another and that's what this is all about living that's what it's all about esteeming and lifting the next person up what about romantic appreciation and value in a relationship jackie (laughs) wow I am, uh, I don't have successful experience in romantic relationships, so I'm going to say that all of my uh, uh-huh. input here is uh, mm-hmm. hypothetical. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, so, but I, I would say communication is number one. Like we're talking about, you have to tell each other what you need that's right or you can't give it to each other that's right yes that's right i mean period you have to communicate yeah you have to have difficult conversations in order to know right right because whatever if you're not telling each other right then you're making it up in your head and you could be completely wrong yeah but what if the person wants you to do something that that doesn't make any sense that don't mean that you don't value them if you don't want to do it right no 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 (laughs) what we're talking about right right if it's like um if it's something that goes against your 
your moral judgment right right or right. that you feel personally your um your own values mm-hmm. yourself right. would be compromised yeah well that's something you need to know too though because if yeah this person if you can't accept that this person needs something that mm-hmm. you are incapable of giving right then you, you don't need to be with the person they need to go find somebody who is okay with it. I'm laughing because <laughs> this I'll went laugh. a little sideways. <laughs> but we could get to a, like when you're talking about yeah. religion. Let's say like okay. a okay. young couple mm-hmm. is getting married. Right. They're in a new relationship and they think they want to get married. You need to have the conversations about religion because you might have one person who says Mm-hmm. It's important to me to go to church right. every Sunday and right. take my children when right. we have children mm-hmm. to church every Sunday. Mm-hmm. And if the other person is like, listen, I'm like borderline don't believe in God. I'm not going to church every <laughs> Sunday. Then you need right, to know right, that right. this isn't going to – you're not going to change that person. That's right. Certainly not That's right. overnight. Absolutely. You may be able to introduce them to God mm-hmm. and they could have a good relationship, but probably not fast enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when I think about the romantic side of it is I always think about um, respect. Someone that respects you, they value you. Someone that they, you know, when they just show you the respect without you asking for respect, they value what's best for you. And they just simply respect you to the highest. I just believe that's value. I believe that loyalty in hard times, not easy times, hard times. Because in easy times when things are not going wrong and everything is going right, anybody can be their best self when everything is going the right way. But it's in those hard times that one will show loyalty, respect, you know, and just show that appreciation and that value in a relationship. Another one is honesty. When someone is honest with you in a romantic relationship, a friendship, intimate friendship also, um, honesty is very key. It's very important because it shows they 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 value you. You know, when someone lies to you and someone uh, is trying to manipulate you and deceive you and be just dishonest and deceptive that means they're trying to devalue you right because they don't right. res- they don't respect your intelligence they don't respect your values they don't respect who you are they don't respect your moral codes because if they understand who you are when it comes to who you are morally they will respect you they will uh sh- you know make sure that they're being honest with you someone that also that is um unselfish putting you first and considering your feelings in your heart that is someone also that values you because they are considering your feelings considering your heart considering you period that's value you know that's what i think of when it comes to that side of it jackie i'm sit- i was sitting here laughing earlier because i just i got a flashback of uh, some things in, in my personal life where in the past someone wanted me to do some things like you said if if they couldn't get it from you they'll get it from somebody else and someone wanted me to do some things and I wasn't going to do it and it went against it went against my moral codes so I'm not going to get into it but that's why I laugh <laughs> yeah well you know I mean uh, yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah there's so Mm-hmm. You know, romance and intimacy, but uh-huh. there could be in that same vein, not not of things that necessarily will um, compromise your own personal integrity. Mm-hmm. But there, as far as romance and intimacy is concerned, mm-hmm. there are things that some people, for instance, okay, let's say I, me as a person, right, Jackie Draper, I like to get dressed up and go out to dinner to nice places Mm -hmm. or for drinks for nice places. I don't want to do it every weekend, but I like to do that every once in a while. So Mm -hmm. I would like someone who would be interested in doing that. They don't have to. He could be a freaking farmer for all I care. Never get dressed up. Except on the days that I want to do it, then you do it for me. 
No right. for you. Right. Okay, we accept that you don't like getting dressed up. Right. Well, I like to see you dressed up, so I think you should do that for me. What if someone said, I want you right? to dress like a prostitute often? <laughs> oh, well, then we have to do that at home because I don't do... I actually dated a guy that... Right. Um, this was years ago. Uh, like, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. It was oh, a while my back. God. Right. Back. Uh-huh. We're walking through the mall, and there's a mannequin wearing this, and... um. He said, baby, you're, you're hot. Why don't you dress like this? And I said, because I'm not a retired stripper. I don't dress like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, what if he would have no. said, what if he would have said, if oh, you want me to parade around the house in it, then that would be totally fine. Right. But what if he said to you, oh, you don't appreciate me because you won't dress like a prostitute. <laughs> well, I mean, if there's a special occasion or something, I would do it. But it's right, like, right. would not be my personal attire all the time. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If it goes it's against... Birthday, right. we're gonna, I don't know where we're going to go out in public where I have to dress like a hoe, but <laughs> I'll do it for you, honey. I'll do it. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if it goes against something... If a person is being ridiculous and they turn around that's and say, it. oh, you don't but value I mean, me. Dressing right. in provocative outfits... In public is not my thing. Right, I'm me not either. a provocative dresser. But <laughs> to a certain extent, I, mean, I am. To a certain that extent, it's flattering to me, right. and it's important to the person that I'm with that mm-hmm. I do it once a year or whatever, and we go out in public like that, <laughs> right. and that's why. Right. But um, yeah, it's just not my. Yeah. It's, that's not my norm. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. Know, you do it for the other person. You don't do it for you. You're it, doing it for exactly. them. Now, if he wanted me to dress like this every weekend, no. That's, right. That's <laughs> right. not who I am. So that right. means you're not into me. Because exactly. if you were into me, you would like the way I look. You know? Right. Because you can't have somebody telling you, oh, well, you don't value me or you don't appreciate me because you won't do certain things all the time. Now, that's um, that's not a balance. That's not right. a balance. And, and that's that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about sound balance of showing someone that you appreciate them, whether it be a friendship, romantic relationship, family members, co-workers, people that we don't even know. We can show value and appreciation to all people on all levels because you never know what the next person is going through. And it's important to express and acknowledge to anyone the good that they do and just simply who they are as an individual because inspiring someone and lifting someone up look it's a it's a it's a beautiful thing and we all have the ability to do it so um but that was funny Jackie <laughs> <laughs> That was a different note. I I mm. have been accused mm-hmm. on different occasions of being a people pleaser. Really? And um I well it it's only with my very intimate relationships mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. You know, my very close friends that and it's not because I mean there's a people pleaser the the personality mm-hmm. Of, I don't want to call it a disorder, but the personality, the clinical personality of a people pleaser mm-hmm. is someone who is um, doing it so people will like them. Exactly. I do not do that for people to no. like me. I do it because I want mm-hmm. to, uh, mm-hmm. I want that person that I care about to be happy. And Absolutely. if there is something that I can do to show them that I appreciate them and that I, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy taking care of people. Yes. That I, that's what I get out of it. Even, I mean, I, everybody, you get something out of everything you do. Yes. Absolutely. And that's what I get out of it is taking care of the people that I love. Yeah. I enjoy that. I enjoy yeah. making them happy. I enjoy, you know, cooking them dinner, or, you know, yeah. You're genuine. Not necessarily waiting on people, but yeah. you know, taking care of them, making sure that they have the things that they need in their lives yeah. to be happy and fulfilled and feel important so that they can go out in the world and, and do their thing. Yeah, you're, you're very genuine in spirit. And, you know, when I first talked to you the first time, 
I, I recognize that. That's why I was so happy that um, we were able to communicate because everybody's not like that. And when I when I when I say that, I'm not saying that you know people don't have the ability to be genuine because we all have the ability to be genuine. But some people are not genuine for many reasons. And so, but like you said, you're not like that at all. And um, it's amazing because you have a good spirit. You know, and um, you can recognize that when you talk to people that are genuine and you know something about their spirit, you pick that up. This person is genuinely a good person. You, We just know that about a person when we are being genuine ourselves. Right. But, you know, well, um, I, I feel in mm-hmm. that vein, I feel that I feel it's important to be myself mm-hmm. because I think that so many people are not themselves mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. for that they're trying to be devious. I think it's because of insecurity because Mm -hmm. they're afraid people won't like who they are. Yeah. I mean, it's many reasons and and that's why, you know, it's it's many reasons, but that's why I said when we um, acknowledge the good that people do and we acknowledge people for who they are and we show that value that they have, then people will feel more comfortable to be themselves around you when uh, even if you don't know a person personally, you still can show that appreciation, that acknowledgement, that value to show that person that they are valuable. You still can express that, you know, and I say that because somebody gave that to me when I was very young. People made me feel very valuable. I was in a church community uh, when I was in my 20s and I was around older women and they made me feel very valuable all the time. They made me feel important. And so from all of that that I received, guess what? I made others and will continue to make others feel important. It's just it's just so um, vital in our everyday living that we don't miss the opportunity to show that value in our relationships. And that's why I wanted to talk about this topic because all of us have the ability to do it. There's no excuse why we should miss the opportunity to let someone know something good about them or just show that appreciation and give honor to where honor is due. And as they say in, you know, in this generation, they say, um, give them their flowers now. That's what we should do. Give them their flowers now. Don't wait till they leave. Give them their flowers now. But um, I hope you listeners got something out of this topic because our intent is to inspire and encourage you to do something you've never done. A lot of us have gone through uh, different types of traumas in our life. And sometimes people make excuses not to do the things that are good. But guess what? If you just are willing to do something better, then guess what? You can become better every single day. We all have the the ability and the potential to be something we've never been before as we take steps every single day. Jackie, you have anything else you want to share? I don't think so. <laughs> now, I, I think I covered it. <laughs> you covered it. Yeah, you, you you know, that was funny. Oh my God, that was just too funny. You got me thinking about some when things. you said that just now, do you have anything you want to share? My brain went completely blank. <laughs> like, do I? <laughs> Yeah, you know, when we were going back and forth, I, I, I just started thinking about some things that I've gone through in the past, you know, because the flip side of value is devalue. And unfortunately, I've been in situations also where people try to devalue me and um, we didn't get into that too much, but we got to wrap it up. So we thank you listeners for taking the time to once again, listen to SB Favorite Thinking podcast. And um, make sure you tune in because I have another another episode coming up tomorrow. I'm going to talk about the benefits of prayer and what is prayer. Um, Rebecca Barreto is going to be here with me. And uh, we're just going to get real deep into what is prayer. Because some people always look at prayer like it's, it's this religious, big religious thing. And prayer is just a connection to God. You know, someone that is higher than you to do something greater around you so um tune in to that and on that note we're going to wrap it up and so if you need to reach me you can reach me at sbfavor at yahoo.com via email and 
You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I have a TikTok handle with inspirational and motivational content there. Please subscribe to me wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, Subscribe and click like and leave me some feedback on YouTube. And I will respond to you in a positive way. If you leave me something negative, I'm going to delete it and not respond at all. So... Thank you so much for listening. And once again, I want to remind you of this. If you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at cash at dollar sign SB favor. Jackie, thank you for joining me again. And we will do it again next week if you are available. Thank you. All right, listeners. Talk to you soon.